So today, Thursday, March 22nd, 2018, my deck was pronounced dead. Yeah, let's rewind. About a month ago, let's see if I can get the actual date. February, was the end of February? First week of February, February 4th maybe? One of the first weeks of February. I had a gig on a Sunday engagement party. It was at the Grapevine Banquet Facility. It went perfectly fine. Everything worked. Well, not everything worked. My lights were having an issue, but completely separate system. Regardless, performed using my iMac and my Newmark NS7 II that I've been using for three years. That following Tuesday morning, I went to plug it in and it wouldn't connect to my computer. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service. Upon talking to... You break iFix, I brought the computer in there to have it diagnosed, and for 30 bucks, they um, cracked my screen a little bit more than it was, since I glued it on there for travel purposes. It was working, and totally fine. So that was a relief. Not so much for the deck, which would not connect to my computer. Would power on, seemingly, and then not connect. So I tried checking for updates, and long and behold, there was a few updates. I went to do them and there was apparently an error. My update was not complete, which left my Newmark NS7 stuck in firmware update mode, learning mode, um, whatever you want to call it. This is unfortunate because apparently to this day, Newmark has not developed a way to back out of firmware update mode. The only way to get out of it currently is to actually update it. But if there's a communication error between the computer and the deck, you can't update. It's stuck. Took the deck to Lifetime Service Center in Williamsville, owned by Stereo Advantage Group. Had it for over a month. A month. Apparently, the biggest trouble was dealing with Newmark and getting in contact with them and working with them to see if they could find a solution. After over a month, several calls from myself to the Lifetime Center. Today, I got a call. I was more than excited. I was so excited I hung up on the lady. She let me know that the bill to repair the deck would actually be over $800. Over $800 to repair this deck. Mixer board needed to be replaced, audio board needed to be replaced, and the headphone completely unrelated to the tune of 800 some odd dollars. So I told him to put it back together and I'll come and pick it up. Thanks, new mark. How to let you know that I've changed?